Hey, Cousin Jack here with another episode of Wood Carving Weekly. And this week we're going to talk about the forgotten art of Watagabon carving. We'll talk about Tool and Geordie's Christmas Challenge. And we have some breaking news about Doug Linker's next video tutorial. Just a reminder, folks, all of the resources that I mentioned will be in the description right below the video. And then also a little bit further down the page in the comment section. Let's get started. Well, we have some breaking news. This morning, Doug Linker put up a post on Instagram talking about his next one by one video tutorial. So let's take a look at the post. Here it is. And it looks like he's doing a carving of the Grinch. And unlike many of the other Grinch carvings, this one is the full figure from what I can tell instead of just the Grinch's head. In the post, Doug says that he'll probably have this tutorial ready for this coming weekend. So within a few days. So if you're interested in a Grinch figure, make sure you keep an eye out for Doug's next video tutorial. Well, let's talk about some tools. This time we're going to be talking about Alan Goodman's series of knives that he makes and sells. Some of you may be aware that his tools are available from Klingspore Woodworking Stores and online in their web store. He has posted recently in Facebook announcing that Klingspore will be carrying several new carving knives that he is making. So here's what's going to be added. They're going to have his Kakuri that has a five and a quarter inch white oak handle and a one and five eighths inch blade, his scimitar blade with a beech handle, and his rough out blade with an ash handle. So look for Alan's knives on the Klingspore website or in the store if that's where you like to shop. And by the way, you know, from time to time, carvers will send Alan a pocket knife and ask him to reprofile the blades and sharpen them, prepare them to be a whittling knife. And he's really good at that. So if you're interested in reaching out to Alan, I'm going to post his email address. That's the best way to get in touch. And you can communicate with him directly. Well, have you ever heard of Wagataban carving? Yeah, I hadn't heard of it either until recently. Well, the craft of making Wagataban actually started in the early 17th century in a very small village in Japan, where shingle makers would be cutting out chunks of chestnut and then setting aside their best boards to carve into trays. Well, this tiny village of about 200 people is now at the bottom of a lake, a reservoir. And it was evacuated in the early 1960s. And when that village went away, the art of carving Watagaban trays just about vanished. Today, there are a few people who have the skill and experience of carving Watagaban trays, and Zed from Zed Outdoors has found one of them in England. He introduces us to Jack Wheeler, who designs and builds timber frame structures. And in his spare time, Jack carves Watagaban trays. And in the video, you're going to see him go through the entire carving process from the beginning to the end. He starts with a cherry log, and it's kind of green wood. He talks about how he's going to select the piece that he wants. There's a lot of knowledge nuggets in this video. And I say that because this video is pretty long, more than three hours. And Zed does a really nice job of adding chapters so that you can navigate to different parts of the video as you wish. So take a look and find out more about the forgotten art of Watagaban carving. Well, we have a new video tutorial series from Roger Stegall. This time around, Roger is doing a series on a cowgirl bust. And he's going to start from one of his rough outs. So in the first segment of the series, Roger is going to be roughing out and shaping this carving. He's mostly removing the duplicator marks and then starting to form more defined face, hat, and shoulders. 
Now, as usual, he's going to be working his way through a variety of different tools, and he does a really nice job of mentioning the size and the sweep of the gouges, for example. And his grandson, Peyton, does a really nice job as the cameraman, and he also keeps track of time for Roger. It's an enjoyable video, and if you're interested in carving a woman's face, and a cowgirl in particular, this video tutorial series may be just for you. I'll share a link to Roger's website where you can get a hold of one of these rough outs and you can carve along. Well, I want to help spread the news about Jordy Johnson's Christmas Challenge over at the Carving Fusion YouTube channel. This is an annual event. Jordy accepts entries and then he gives away prizes. This year, he's got some, let's say, rules for entry. And if you're interested, here they are. Number one, it must be a carving, and the carving must be done on a wooden kitchen utensil. All right, so think rolling pin, a spoon handle, some other handle, even a mashed potato handle, whatever is wooden, and it must be a Christmas-themed carving. Now, your entries are going to be sent to Jordy, and that can be done through Facebook or his email address starting on December 1st. Don't send them until December 1st. And then the deadline to enter and send photos will be December 21st. As I mentioned, Jordy's going to be giving away prizes. And then also on December 25th, Christmas Day, he'll be posting a video with all the entry pictures that he received. So keep your eye out for an announcement from Jordy about sending in your photos. And until then, get started on your wooden kitchen Christmas utensil theme carving. Well, up next, we'll introduce you to Amy Jo. She does a lot of power carving, and she's getting ready to donate some carvings for Jordy Johnson's Christmas Challenge prize pool. So in her latest video, Amy Jo is going to be doing a Dremel carving on a wooden rolling pin. And she shows you the entire process from start to finish. Amy Jo is into wood carving, also wood burning, and painting. And she has more than 400 videos on her YouTube channel. So in this latest video where she's carving on the rolling pin, there's a time-lapse segment that shows you the complete carving process. And then at the end, she does a little bit of finishing, and she talks about how she's going to be donating these carvings to the prize pool for Jordy's Christmas Challenge. So go on over to her channel and check it out. Well, up next, we'll go to Manchester in the UK, where Danielle Jones hosts the Aldernwood YouTube channel. Now, she's really just starting out with her YouTube adventure. She began posting videos there recently. And she has a new carving video where she's carving a small fairy door out of wood. She describes herself as a fantasy art wood carver. And she's very interested in enchanted storytelling. So it makes sense that a fairy door would work into her theme. In the video, you'll see the entire carving process. And she starts with a coping saw, cuts out a piece of wood. She's drawn the fairy door onto the wood, kind of sketched it. And then she uses hand tools to carve the door. It's a really enjoyable video. There's no talking. However, during the video, Danielle adds some instructional text on screen to describe the carving process. Altogether, it's a little under six minutes long. And a brand new YouTube channel that maybe you haven't seen before. Check it out. Folks, I want to thank you for joining me today. For all of uh, the folks here in the States, happy Thanksgiving to you. And wherever you may be, I hope you're having a joyous holiday season. We won't have an episode next week because of the holiday weekend. But we'll be right back again after that. And if you've missed any of our previous episodes, just click right over here. You'll see an entire list of them with all kinds of great content. See you next time.